Hello, and thank you for watching Accelerate with Nerdio. In today's video, I'm going to discuss users and roles specific to the Nerdio Manager for MSP application, right? So this is how you can create additional user access or role-based access to manage your accounts within the Nerdio Manager for MSP web app. As always, please visit help.nerdio.net for access to all of our amazing documents and videos. And also note that this is going to be relative to NMM version 5.4 and up. So let's talk about the three role types that we can currently access. We have super admin, which can manage all accounts and all admins, right? This is the minimum first account that you create when you set up NMM. This is your master admin. Then there's MSP admin. So you can actually designate an admin account that can manage, based on your determination, any set number of accounts. And I'll show you that in greater detail in a moment. And then account admin, which can only manage one defined account and will actually log directly into the account and not see the top level Nerdio manager for MSP page. Um, these can be a uh, uh, roles that can be applied to external users as well as users that live within your internal tenant and you can even set access expiration let's jump into nerdio manager and check it out so i'm here in nerdio manager for msp i'm in the users and roles subsection i can see people with access right i can see i've got a user here that is an external user this is you know basically the same as creating a guest user in azure active directory I can see they've got the MSP admin role, whereas others have super admin. And I see a little clock here telling me when it expires, right? Um, and scope as well. So if I, if I delineate the type of accounts or the number of accounts he can access, we'll see that here. Um, so let's walk through this. I would hit add to add a new user. I can see those three roles. Again, super admin, access to everything, can manage all admins, can manage all features. MSP admin can have access to all accounts if you determine it, and will have 95% of all feature access, right? You know, there are certain things where they could override a super admin that we won't give them access to. Um, so accounts, we can see that I could choose from either of my accounts, or I could have all accounts. Uh, let's go ahead and just do a single account. Um, I can select a user that lives in my tenant directory, or I can use an external user. So let's just call this external at company.com, and it'll ask me if I want to invite that user, and I can also send an email, an invitation, correct? So they know the, uh, the URL to go to, they know they've been invited. And then I can set access expiration. So all of these together, right, we assign a role, we point to an account or multiple accounts as long as we're within MSP admin. And then we can define where that user object is coming from and if that expires. When I hit OK, it would create the user object, send the invite, uh, and then again, if there's an expiration on it, act accordingly. Now, we got through super admin and MSP admin, right? These are really specific to you, the MSP, more than likely. So you've, you've contained your access. Now, account admin, uh, is going to allow you to only select one account, right? So we can see here, I can't choose the all. So this is really giving me a very specific focus. Uh, same, you know, ability to invite internal or external as well as expiration. So, you know, just to kind of show what that login looks like, let's take a look. So if I were to edit my user here and make them an account admin, and focus that just on one account. I'll hit OK. We'll give this just a moment to save. And immediately we see, right, the scope has changed to that single account. I see that role is there. I can see my, my expiration is still set. And let's see what that looks like when I go to log in. I'm hiding my credentials, but it's signing me back in right now with the account that we selected. And so this is actually where I landed when I logged into my Nerdio Manager web admin portal. Now, you might just say, yeah, that's the account screen. That's, that's what we always see. But let's consider one thing here. I cannot go back a level, right? So I can't go see other accounts. I can't choose other accounts. So this is really, right, the user that you would apply to maybe a contractor or um, external or, or maybe co-manager, right? Something where they shouldn't or don't need to know about your other accounts. They're really just focused on only seeing the management piece of the specific account, right? And of course, as, as we talked about with different roles, there's absolutely gonna be different things that you're allowed to do. 
So I'm going to stop there. As always, help.nerdio.net for access to more videos, and I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch. Thank you.